Introduction and System Overview Thank you for choosing the CoagSense PT-INR Monitoring System. The CoagSense system is used to test prothrombin time, PT, in patients taking warfarin for oral anticoagulant therapy. Results are reported as International Normalized Ratio, or INR units, and PT seconds. Since the system directly detects the clot formation, it reports true PT seconds. This video will cover the basics of using the CoagSense PT-INR monitoring system. For complete instructions, be sure to read the user manual and all packaging inserts. The CoagSense system consists of a meter, single-use PT strips, control strips, and certain accessories required for testing. The power on-off button is located on the right side of the meter. The NFC Near Field Communication Tag Scanner is a built-in scanner that is used to scan the NFC card containing the strip control and test strip data. Micro USB power adapter port allows for charging of the meter. This port can be used to connect the meter to a computer or other CoagSense approved accessories. Printer and barcode scanner can also be used wirelessly. Ethernet port is used to connect the Ethernet cable for a wired connection. There are three touch buttons, cancel or previous screen button, home screen button, and view menu button. The color LCD touchscreen shows icons for patient test, control test, results, or memory and settings. The meter performs a self-check when it is first powered on and every time a test strip is inserted. Meter Setup Touch the Settings icon to access the different features. It is a good practice to periodically connect to a local Wi-Fi network so that under the device information, new software version updates can be seen. Data transfer allows for data management externally. This can be done via communication settings of Bluetooth, wired or wireless capability. The admin settings allows for advanced features such as user management, QC lockout, as well as enabling stat testing or login and keep patient ID feature on or off. Device settings can be used to change other features such as language, time zones, brightness, alarm, sound, sleep settings, and date time. To change the date and time, use the up and down arrow keys to get the appropriate month, day, year, or hour, minutes, a.m., p.m., then confirm. User may modify other features under device settings per their preference. Performing a control test. This video provides a brief overview of how to perform a control test. Controls should be tested with each new lot of test strips when they are received. Press the control icon on the display. Select from the following two options as applicable. Low control test or high control test. Confirm that the control strip lot number display matches the lot number on the test strip pouch. Then press continue. If the number does not match or the field in the meter is blank, then touch NFC tag to the NFC scanner on the meter. If the NFC tag is not available, then manually enter the lot and barcode numbers from the control strip pouch. Then press the forward button. Hold the round end of the test strip with the wheel facing upward. Gently push the strip completely into the meter. The strip fits snugly and should be pushed all the way toward the back wall of the strip holder. The display will show the countdown for the countdown of time remaining during the warm-up cycle. The meter beeps once and displays Apply Control Solution when it is ready for the control strip activation solution. Insert transfer tube into control activation solution. Let capillary action fill until solution flow stops at white plug. 
Insert transfer tube tip into the sample application well of the test strip, touching the tip down at the flashing green light in front of the wheel. Depress black plunger completely to dispense the activation solution. When the control activation solution is properly applied and detected, the flashing green light will turn off and the meter displays, testing, please wait. When testing is complete, the pass-fail results are displayed in PT seconds. Same steps can be followed for either control, high or low. The control result is recorded in memory and it can be found on the main menu using results and then control test. Performing a PT test. This video provides a brief overview of how to perform a PT INR test. Make sure that you have all the supplies needed before you start, including a 21 gauge lancet, sample transfer tubes, sterile alcohol prep pads, gauze square, and a biohazard or sharps waste container. To begin, Press and hold the power button on the right side of the meter to power the meter on. Place the meter on a stationary, level surface for testing. When the system finishes starting up, the login screen will be displayed. Log in as admin or using your assigned credentials. This login setting can be changed to auto login based on user preference. Press the test button on the color touchscreen. Confirm that the patient strip lot number and barcode number display matches the information on the test strip pouch. If the number does not match or the field in the meter is blank, then touch NFC tag to the NFC scanner on the meter. If the NFC tag is not available, then manually enter the lot and barcode numbers from the patient test strip pouch. Then press the forward button. If the patient ID feature is enabled, enter the patient ID or scan the patient ID barcode using an optional barcode scanner. Press the forward arrow button. The screen will now display the message to please insert a strip. Hold the round end of the test strip with the wheel facing upward. Gently push the strip completely into the meter. The strip fits snugly and should be pushed all the way to the back wall of the strip holder. The display will show the countdown for the countdown of time remaining during the warm-up cycle. Clean the patient fingertip with an alcohol wipe. Dry the fingertip with gauze to remove any excess. After apply sample is displayed, you now have two and a half minutes to apply the sample to the test strip. The best test sample is when the blood is collected right after the finger stick and put into the sample well without delay. If the blood is not collected or tested quickly, repeat with a fresh finger stick and a new strip. Use only 21 gauge lancets as smaller diabetes lancets do not produce sufficient whole blood volume. A minimum of 10 microliters of collected blood sample is required. Please remember, squeezing or milking the finger stick site excessively releases interstitial tissue layer fluid containing tissue factors that can cause unreliable results. Collect the sample using a sample transfer tube. Holding the transfer tube horizontal, touch the tip to the bead of blood and let capillary action fill until the blood flow stops at the white plug. Insert the transfer tube tip into the sample application well of the test strip and touch the tip down at the flashing green light in front of the spinning wheel. Push the plunger down to dispense the sample fully. The light should go out and the meter should display, testing, please wait. The testing time is the patient's actual clotting time as the system produces a true prothrombin time. Never add more blood to the test strip. Never collect a second sample from the same finger stick. When testing is complete, the results appear on the screen. The test result is recorded in memory and it can be found on the main menu using results and the patient test. Turn off the meter by pressing and holding the power button down until the screen goes dark. 
If you encounter any error or require technical support, please call CoagUSense Technical Support at 866-903-0890. Or email at tech support at coagusense.com. Care and Maintenance No maintenance is required other than routine cleaning and or disinfecting. When the power is off and the USB cable is not connected, the meter housing can be cleaned and disinfected. To clean the outside of the meter, use a clean, damp, non-abrasive cloth. The meter can be disinfected using any germicidal wipes that have 0.55% sodium hypochlorite or 10% bleach solution with a one-minute contact time. The meter should be allowed to air dry before use. The test strip is designed to contain the patient's sample, preventing it from entering the meter. Do not clean or disinfect inside the meter where the test strip is inserted. Cleaning this area should be avoided. The meter can be operated with a power adapter provided in the kit, which charges the built-in rechargeable lithium polymer battery. The meter performs a self-test when it is first powered on. If there's any problem with the meter, an error message will be displayed. For a complete list of error messages and their troubleshooting, please refer to the troubleshooting section in the user's manual or contact technical support. <laughs>